How are you doing? It's very nice to see you. Thank you. So we start now a new cycle on this show, and your character continues to surprise us. I watched the first two episodes. Oh, okay, yeah. So um, how has it been this this new season? This season is really crazy for Angela. You know, she's I. In some ways, it's like no good deed goes unpunished. So that really human, vulnerable moment she has with Tasha, where she realizes this is. Tariq missing is beyond her, and she decides to help Tasha, gets her into such hot water. It is a very difficult situation, and it is what has defined the character until this point, is that fine line between what the heart tells and what the law says. Right. Please explain that, and, and, and how has it worked out? Because she's very real. So Angela's always really followed her heart and she's been able to skirt the law or bend it. But she's never fully crossed the line. And then this is a situation where she thinks giving this information is gonna help. Mm -hmm. There's no part of her that fathoms it's gonna lead to a murder. And then when it does, it's put her way on the other mm -hmm. end of the line, whether almost by no, she didn't choose to do that. Mm -hmm. It was her, uh, the risk that she took in divulging where the location for Ray Ray's house was that essentially she's now she's crossed she's on the other side yeah. she is now f a full-blown criminal the, the show the yes the show presents us with something very real it's not colored or hidden they give us things as they happen in real life, and we experience loss in the last season. Right. Um, how do you see that aspect of reflection of real life in the show? I mean, I think real life is, it has a lot of beauty to it, but it's also brutal. People uh, lose children, particularly in the game involving drugs and, and uh, gangs and things like that. Uh, one of the things that I love about power is there's consequences to the life. Mm -hmm. It's not all kind of glitz and glamour and glorifying it. There's a very real tragic underbelly. Yeah. Um, and the other piece that I like about how it gets reflected is we can have our vendettas or our petty dramas and then there will be certain losses that happen that just level everything out and like how I felt about you doesn't matter anymore. This this thing is bigger than that. And that's sort of what happens to Angela with the loss of Reina and Tariq going, miss going missing. Everybody wants to know about the love and what is going on with Angela's heart and what she feels. Um, there's this really great quote that I think is from uh, Beloved, a, torny a Toni Morrison novel that says like, um, if it ain't that th thin love ain't no kind of love at all. And Angela has that thick love. Mm. She's tried to root it out. She knows entirely who he is. She knows that he's a drug dealer and a murderer and there's no secrets anymore. And she's really wanted to be done with him and yet it's still there. You know, she hasn't, we ha there's that moment at the gala at the end of the season and you it's just still palpable and I think this season she's coming to terms and recognize reconciling her will would like to move on because she knows no good can come of loving a man like this and yet there she is she's not really in control it's almost like her love has a life and a will of its own we, the audience, are rooting for a happy ending, but we don't know if we're going to get it or if that is a possibility. I mean, that's the, that's the draw of power, is it's a dangerous world and then it's a romantic world at the same time. And so we hope, but, you know, we don't know. We'll see. Thank you so <laughs> <You're> much. <welcome. laughs>